Okay, so welcome to yet another tutorial on Bidwick. And in this one, we need to talk about the Rotary. Uh, so maybe you're thinking, okay, you know, this one, it's super simple. Why making, why even making a tutorial? Well, there's something simple about this, but there is something weird. And it's the time mod. And it took me a while, you know, just to double check what it's doing. Because Bidwick gives you uh, almost no information about what really is doing and why it's here, right? So, okay. So, first, let me show you the sound I get right here. All of this is just pretty much off. And I'm only going to show you the imager because this will matter in a second. So, I'm going to go and do an ARP. And I'm doing it with the OBX. It's just a pretty simple, dumb ARP, okay? Pretty simple. Done. Okay. So, that's the sound we're going to work with. So, of course, the rotary, uh, the main purpose of having this one is that we, this one is going to move or is going to pan the sound from one side to the other one. That is, this is what it does, mainly what it does. That's what it's called rotary. Uh, it's going to rotate the panning from left to right. That's, that's, what, it, that's, what, it, that's uh, what it does. So, I'm going to go and play this, play the sound. And right from the start, notice... That is right here in the middle, okay? Right here in between. Cool. So, of course, we need to do... We need to provide some instruction of how this is going to move. And notice, if I move this, it's going to go and start moving. From left to right. And, of course, if I go all the way, it's going to be a bit more aggressive. And it's going to go all the way to the left, all the way to the right. And so on, and so on, and so on. So, we can actually see this. This is why I'm bringing this one. Right, so pretty simple. Now, of course, since you want to move from left to right, then you need to decide how fast are you going to go. So in this case, what I want to do, uh, I want to go with the rate. So I'm going to go do play, and this is going to be how fast this is going to go, right? And you can go to extremes, like... Yeah, so that's it. Going from left to right, super fast, and that's what you get. So, of course, this is what we assume that the rotary uh, is going to do. You know, go from left to right, and then we just choose how fast. The, so, the first, then it's the first problem, you know? Right now, we have a rate in hertz. So, what if we wanted to sync, uh, you know, the going from left to right? So, you have no sync right here. You, the only thing that you get is a rate. And it's because you already have the tool that it's going to do that. And I'm going to go and put the tool and maybe disable this. And the tool gives you a pan control and it also gives you a width control. So, in this case, what we can do, we can go right here and then use a modulation like an LFO or a beat LFO in this case. That is going to be synchronized to whatever tempo you're using. And it's going to go and move this. You know, all the way to the other side, and then it's gonna go, you know, left and right, left and right. That's, you know. And notice we get the same thing, but now we are just able to select a bead, we are able to select a different waveform. So that's why you don't get this one, because you already have it right here. So, of course, if, if it's very important for you to sync this to the tempo, uh, you might want to use the tool instead of the rotary, because this one is, you do it by hand. That's the first thing. So then we have, I mean, we have th this one, the time mod. And this is what's super weird, and there's no information on the web, and some people are just going to be explaining this, and I feel that what they say, it's, uh, it's not right. Okay, so I did some digging, and notice that whenever we play a source, it's mono, because the synth is mono, okay? It's not because this one is making it mono, this synth is mono. So we get a mono sound. So, as soon as I go to the time mod, it's wide. And what it says right here, if I go to the instructions, it says the delay modulation. And the range of the delay modulation, and you can go to 2 milliseconds. So, this got me thinking, okay, so, why are we getting this on the rotary, right? Because this is supposed to be a panning control, which is kind of like that, but they give you this control. So now, if we, you have a sound and you want to make it wide, you get that. And behind the scenes, what it's doing, it's doing a has effect. That's what it's doing, kind of a behind the scenes. If we are not using the rate and we are not using anything else. And I can actually prove this. So I'm going to go right here, going to go to the Valhalla delay, you know, this uh, tiny little plugging. 
And notice that right here on the Valhalla delay, we have a dual sound. We are doing a mix of 100%. And if I play the sound and notice I'm on hi-fi, I have all the modulations down, everything is down, and you know, we, we get nothing. So we are gonna get the same exact sound. Of course, without this one. Right, so we get nothing. As soon as I go to the right side of the speaker and I do two milliseconds, we are getting the same width. And this is behind the scenes what this is doing. So if I turn this off and go this back to this, it's we get the same. And it's because that that's what's going on. Okay. Now of course, this is a modulation. So this one it's kind of a synced to whatever is going right here on the right. So if I turn the Valhalla delay for now and I go back and play this one. Now this is starting to sound different. And we can and we start getting pitch modulation. Right? But why? You know, why are we getting this? And if I go to the amp bot, this is the same thing happening, but we go from left to right on the speakers. And it's kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of like it. Of course, it, we are going crazy right now, but we can go and do something like this and get a good sound from a mono that sucks. Okay. But the question is, what is happening right here? Why, why you know, is doing this? Okay. So I'm gonna go and just turn this off and I'm gonna go to Valhalla Delay and show you pretty much what this does. So I'm gonna go right here to the mod. I'm gonna go to some place right here and I'm gonna increase the depth. Isn't this the same thing that we are doing kind of uh, right here? So yeah, it's kind of the same thing. It's a bit different, of course. So okay. So what this does behind the scenes is going to give a, a kind of a, a modulation to the time, to the times that we are using right here. And we can actually, you know, do this manually. That's why I have an LFO right here, a classic LFO with a sine wave, and we are going pretty fast, like, you know, eight or something like that. So in theory, what happens if I start modulating the times of the left and the right, and I start making changes, right? Why did, what's going to happen? So I'm going to go right here and just touch on this one. Of course, we need kind of, we need to, of course, open the plugin right here. Uh, let me just do it like this. And I'm going to go select this one. This is going to be the right control. So I'm going to go and select a modulation and I'm just going to start modulating it kind of a heart so we can really hear what's going on. And we, we can see that it's going crazy. And now I'm going to go to the left one and maybe I'm going to do the same to the, uh, to the left one from a different place so we can hear the difference. And okay. So now if I play this, I notice that rate control is off. So we're kind of getting the same thing. So behind the scenes, the raid is kind of a doing something like this to the time, to the delay, the internal delay that this is using. And if I turn this off, there we go. So of course it sounds different, but it's pretty similar. All right. So now you know what this does behind the scenes. It was a little bit weird, uh, and it's a little bit weird to find it right here on this plugin. And uh, on the uh, manual, they say that this is a rotary speaker emulation, and that's fine. You know, maybe if you talk about rotary speaker, you talk about the Leslie, which is the like the holy grail of rotary speakers. So uh, I, I think it's fine. You know, it's just a nice thing to have. Uh, and again, if you have to think how this works, is what we are doing right here, pretty much. All right, so that that's that's all. You know, there's nothing more to it. Now you know what this does, and I'm pretty sure you already knew about this, and you were a little bit confused about what this does. So now you know you can reproduce it with a different plugin, which is you know. I thought it was a good idea, you know? Okay, so of course, if you find this helpful, like the video, subscribe, and check the Patreon and all of that stuff. See you on the next one.